Saudi Arabia, known as the land of liquid gold, is the largest country in the Arabian Peninsula. The majority of the surface of the country is covered with deserts. Saudi Arabia is a country that experiences harsh climate changes with little to no rainfall. But despite these factors, how does the country still manage to thrive in terms of agriculture? The Saudi government shocked the world when they successfully turned their dry land into green pastures in just a matter of decades. But how did Saudi Arabia turn its deserts green? Let's find out in today's video. Saudi Arabia is the 14th largest country by land area, and 95% of the kingdom's land is dry and has harsh temperatures. Not to mention that Saudi Arabia is a one-of-a-kind country, as it doesn't have an actual river. Now you might expect that the country is just full of deserts, which is true by the way, but to your shock, Saudi Arabia has some of the most amazing green landscapes despite the odd temperatures. You'll be surprised to learn that the country's agriculture thrives despite the harsh weather and lack of rain. Due to this, farmers can easily produce any kind of fruit or vegetable even in unfavorable conditions. Saudi Arabia has not always been this flourishing land, but these problems were once relatively significant. However, over the years, Saudi Arabia's investment and growing interest in technology has made it one of the most advanced technological countries. And Saudi Arabia, like other fields, relies on high tech for growing crops and making its land fertile and thriving in greenery. The technological advancements of Saudi Arabia will shock you. Saudi Arabia has agricultural land that is three times the size of Qatar. Truly fascinating for a country filled with sand. But this was not always the case with Saudi Arabia. In fact, in the 1960s, Saudi Arabia's arable land was just 400 square kilometers. It is truly amazing how a country can produce agriculture even in the most adverse conditions. I am sure you are wondering what kind of magic spell the country used to turn its infertile land into a fruitful one. How did Saudi Arabia manage to multiply its arable land within just a few decades? The answer to that might make your jaw drop to the floor. The answer is not some magical spell, but a strong desire to see the country develop and its resources put to good use. Saudi Arabia multiplied its agriculture within just a few decades, and also supplies its produced goods, such as wheat, eggs, fruits, dates, and much more, to other nations as well. This is all made possible with the help of technology and the dedication of the Saudi government. Saudi Arabia, being the most water-scarce nation, uses desalinated water to fulfill its needs, along with building underground water reservoirs that store vast quantities of water. Despite the land's inability to produce water, the country thrives in agricultural production, which is made possible by the country's efforts in terms of technology and science. The Saudi government traditionally used underground water reservoirs called aquifers, and their job was to pump out water to the arable land. This method was used for decades, but with time, it was realized that the method has its limitations. The aquifers would occasionally run out of water, causing problems for the farmlands due to their inability to pump out water effectively. To address this issue, the Saudi government implemented the most recent center pivot irrigation technology, which astounded American scientists for the right reasons. The Saudi government has chosen newer methods of fertilizing its land and providing the necessary amount of water to produce arable land. To operate the center pivot system, the arable land must be in a large circle, as can be seen by searching for Saudi Arabia's agricultural land on Google. On this circular land, the center pivot system is used for agricultural production. The center pivot system includes a mechanized irrigation system that sprays water across the land. The water is extracted from underground and launched from the center of the field to all the crops. The mechanized system consists of a large radial pipe with sprinkler towers all over it. With equally spaced nozzles, the radial pipe supplies water all across the farmland. By using the radial pipe as the center pivot irrigation, the water travels along in a straight line in the arable land. The nozzles spray an equal amount of water onto their surroundings to ensure that the land gets the required amount of water for agricultural production. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think that the pivot systems should be used by every country? Let us know in the comments down below. The center pivot systems can serve more than 130 acres of land, which makes them extremely suitable for large-scale farmland. The sprinklers located on the tower of the radial pipe are used to spray water on the regions closer to the pipe. In contrast, 
The nozzles spray out water to far regions from the pivot. This ensures that the entire land receives an equal amount of water. This system also allows farmers to check and balance the water level on the surface, as the semi-automatic machine allows them to do this easily. The entire pivot irrigation system depends upon the main component, which is the center pivot. This is where the water enters first before getting sprayed down in the fields. But that's not all, because operating the pivot system there requires a control panel. The control panel for the pivot system allows the farmers to operate and control the machinery effectively. The pivot system irrigation also includes other components like the drive unit. This is the part that allows the movement of the machinery. It is equipped with wheels, which allows farmers to move the systems to different locations in the field more efficiently. The pivot system is known to be extremely efficient. And this is because the system, by being able to conserve energy in the long run, can reduce the high costs of labor and the inconsistency of farmhands. The system also prevents water wastage. In fact, the water is used in a much more effective way. If you think that's all the pivot system can do, behold, because we have saved the best for last. The pivot system not only sprays water on the surface of the land, but can also spray fertilizers, pesticides, and other agricultural fluids to ensure good crops are being produced. The pivot system is used on two-thirds of Saudi Arabia's agricultural land, which is also why many of the country's unfertilized lands have been converted into beautiful farmlands capable of producing agriculture efficiently. The country uses such an irrigation system because of how efficient it is at saving water. Because of the extensive use of aquifers for agricultural purposes, Saudi Arabia's water reservoirs have run dry. Along with that, the country had no system of storing water resulting from floods or rains, which was causing some of its fertilized lands to turn into dry soil. To avoid this from happening, the Saudi government decided to take action and overcome the situation, which resulted in the country using the pivot system massively. Not only did this irrigation system save water, but it also provided the appropriate service to produce agriculture from the land. Now this will definitely blow your mind. The Saudi government also initiated the storage of flood water so that it could be used effectively, and 10 different species of trees were also planted. All of these measures were taken to increase the amount of green in the country and promote agricultural production to the maximum level. The soil was also improved in the region with the help of fixation of nitrogen level. Other important measures taken by the government include improving air quality, cutting carbon dioxide emissions, and sustainably beautifying cities. The government also funds the country's research initiatives that study the land and provide the best possible solution on how they can improve and promote agriculture. It is sensible for Saudi Arabia to actively invest in these agricultural parameters and expand its exports further. Once known only for its massive supply of oil around the world, Saudi Arabia is now thriving in every industry and ensuring that it reaches the world and has a global impact on the export market. It seems that all of the measures taken by the government of Saudi Arabia have shown success, which amazes US scientists. It is impossible to comprehend the fact that a country with little to no rain and harsh climates can produce such agriculture. This truly promotes the idea that the possibilities are endless if you have the dedication and technology to overcome your problems. If you like today's content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. Do you think that the possibilities are endless with technology? Let us know in the comments below.